Hey everyone, welcome back to another Where Are They Now? Flashback Friday, Throwback Thursday. Since I don't know what day of the week this is going on, we're just gonna call it Where Are They Now? And this time we are looking back at February favorites from 2012, four long years ago. I went back and rewatched the video with some nostalgia because my original Westie rookie was in there and I still miss him a little bit, even though I adore Wrigley rookie was the original guy. Okay, I have my list printed out of all of the stuff that I listed in the description box that I liked and we're gonna go back and see if I still like them and if not, what am I using in its place? So the first thing I talked about was the Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Rollerball. Ta-da, still a staple in my purse, use it all the time. If you just need a little quick pick-me-up at the end of the day, your eyes are looking a little sad and tired, do a quick swipe right over your makeup, pat it in, bright eyes, you are good to go, love it. Next thing I talked about was Aquaphor as a lip balm and as uh, to deal with uh, its allergy season again, surprise, four years later, to deal with the dry spots around the nose and lips. Well, I no longer use the Aquaphor, I use two different things. If we're talking about dry lips, this has been a lifesaver. It took me a long time to get on board, but now I love it. It's the Erin Rose Lip Conditioner. It's a lot thicker and more pleasant smelling than the Aquaphor, and it sits on the lips, I feel a little nicer. So that's for lips, but I wouldn't smear this all over the face. When I get really dry patches around my nose and mouth from allergies, I reach for my Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream, and it's got quite a, I don't know if that's gonna show up, but it has quite a divot in there. I use it all the time. I do use it a lot in the winter, um, but I also do it for little spot parts on my face that are getting a little dry and flaky. Next thing we talked about was the CeraVe, well we, no me. The next thing I talked about was the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing AM version. Um, no shocker that I don't use that anymore either. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, I just found that it wasn't moisturizing my face enough. I do have really dry skin. And I feel like the combination sunscreen moisturizer wasn't quite giving me the same level of sun protection that I need at this point. So for a daily moisturizer, I use my Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream, no shocker there. And, <clears throat> excuse me, when I do use a daily sunscreen, which is happening more and more as it warms up here and, and gets sunnier in San Antonio, I do use the Colleen Rothschild uh, Daily Sunscreen, which I have run out of since last season and I need to order one for now this season. The next favorite from 2012 was the Garnier, what was it called? Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream. I liked the concept, I liked the extra SPF in it, but my skin did not like it and it broke out like crazy. What I have used, this is my second or third tube, is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I wear this stuff constantly, I love it. And I fluctuate between very fa the fair shade in the winter, um, bump up to light in the spring, fall, and in the summer if I'm fake tanning, medium seems to work really well on me. So I really, I cannot say enough how much I love the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. It's, oh, it's a favorite. Uh, then I talked about a new drugstore foundation that I liked back then. It was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Foundation. I have switched over to a different drugstore brand that I think, again, not a shocker, love CoverGirl foundations. And the one that surprisingly works really well for me, even though it's intended for more oily skin, is the Ready Set Gorgeous. And I do, again, like their shade selection. I'm a shade 105 for most of the year. Um, this films really beautifully, by the way. Any of you making YouTube videos? It photographs very nicely. Then I talked about MAC Fix Plus the travel size. Well, here's the third version of it, still going strong. I don't use this to set my makeup like I did in that video. I use this more to wet my brush for uh, using pigments or to foil eyeshadows. Once in a while, if I feel like my makeup's looking a little cakey, I'll whip this guy out. The latest um, setting spray that I'm using, and this was sent to me, and I'm not gonna say that I love it or hate it. The jury's still out, it's still in the testing phase is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix uh, 2. It is a long-lasting and moisturizing, allegedly, setting spray. It smells nice. I don't know, but that's what I'm testing right now. Then I talked about a concealer that I loved, the Estee Lauder like, Max Coverage, something like that. 
Looking back over the years, some things have changed the way I do makeup and I have learned a lot from watching other YouTubers and what I have learned is that when you have to conceal something, you don't cake on a ton of makeup. You do the lightest layers possible. And so it's still an Estee Lauder product that I'm reaching for, but it's just the regular uh, double wear stay in place concealer. And this one is shade light 01, sometimes I'm 02. Not a lot of shade range variation going on here, but this is what I use like to conceal this big guy that's growing on my chin. Let's talk about that for a moment. No, let's not talk about that. We'll just do this. Um, then a favorite, and uh, I love this, and I wish it wasn't discontinued, is the NYX blush in Angel. I loved that blush. I'm still looking for a blush to replace that. It um, is discontinued. It's no longer available, I believe. If I can find it, I'll let you know. Uh, and then I'm gonna order one for myself. But Mine dried up and then it broke. So what I have been using that's close, and if you can give me a dupe, I would love to know. It's the Makeup Geek blush in Honeymoon, and um, I'm not actually wearing it today, but this is a pretty close effect to the NYX Angel. It's just like a soft, pinky, peachy, baby, luminous, I don't think you're gonna see that, but it's gorgeous. I love, I love. This is the only Makeup Geek blush I own. I would love to hear recommendations from y'all. Maybe Spellbound, let me know. I've heard good things about Spellbound. Then I talked about the Revlon Lip Gloss in Foiled. I don't have it anymore. You don't wanna have lip gloss for four years. That's disgusting. Well, I probably do have some lying around. I will not judge. But um, unfortunately, Revlon decided not to make those lip glosses anymore, which was very not smart on their point, on their part. But what I'm loving is a similar concept, is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate. Now this looks darker on me right now, but it is very similar in effect to the Revlon Foiled, which was sort of like a nudish, brownish, sheer wash of shiny color. Let's do this. So there, you can see how it sort of reflects the light and it's, very nude and kind of brownie, brownie nude. I had an old lipstick, I had a bright lipstick on, I wiped it off and slathered this on top, so it's gonna come off a little darker, but I love this stuff and the smell, oh my gosh. It's chocolate, chocolate is wafting up to me. The next favorite was the Bourjois, I said it right, uh, Volume Fast and Perfect Mascara, it was on that mechanized, um, the actual wand spun, you pushed a button and it spun around and rolled up your eyes. Very cool. I haven't had a recent trip to the UK, so I have not picked up the Bourjois um, mascara, but what I have been using all of this month will be a shocker. This was sent to me. I've been highly resistant to use this makeup line. It's by Sigma. I don't know exactly what it's called because the sticker fell off, but I'll look for it. It's, oh, it's on the side. Sinuosity Lash Mascara. I've been wearing this nonstop. I love it. We'll talk more about it in favorites, but I really like it. I am wearing fake lashes right now too though, so that's this is not all mascara. This is a little extra. And then I talked about the Conair U Curl Conical or Conical Wand, Conical. And um, I just don't curl my hair with a Conical Wand anymore. When I do curl my hair, the T3 Body Waver, love this guy, love it. It's hefty though, isn't it? Um, I just prefer a looser, bigger curl these days. And I never did get the hang of the, the clipless kind, I, I'm just not that coordinated. I couldn't do it. Hair is not my thing. I also talked about the Glade Air Freshener and Sherbert Sunshine, my all-time favorite Glade Air Freshener scent. They, of course, are only seasonal, so that's no longer available. I'm not a huge fan of their current selection. I'm hoping the new spring collection that I haven't seen yet will be good because I do, I love Glade candles and Glade Air Fresheners. They are as good or better than any scented candle. I just, I love them. The only annoying thing is it's seasonal the ones that I like, and then I can't, they don't keep them in stock and whatever. And then this is funny, um, I had just bought these Via Spiga shoes. Um, they were brand new out of the box. I don't even know if I'd worn them yet. I don't think I had. I still love these, I still wear these. It's a matching twin here. The right, the left shoe has a little, little nibble right across the top, uh, Bosley uh, nibbled on it. <clears throat> but it, I still wear them all the time and I love Via Spiga as a brand. It's a great price point if you don't want to spend high eye like designer shoe prices, but it's a little higher end than say Nine West. And I always loved their shoes. I have quite a few pairs of them. And another thing about Via Spiga is they're always having sales. And I, I found a few of them like at Nordstrom Rack or Marshalls. So keep your eye out for that brand. Good price, good quality. 
So that's it for the uh, where are they now? What happened to my favorites from February 2012? Most of them went poof, but there are you know, still a few that are in the rotation, which I think says a lot for those products to stick around for four years in the beauty world is like 20 years in real life, right? It's kind of like a Hollywood marriage. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and let me know if any of your favorites from way back then are still around. And I would really like to know if any of you saw the original February 2012 favorites video from me. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to get a little laugh, see a younger version of Bosley and catch a glimpse of Rookie, the first Westie, take a look at the original video. I'll put that in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Today, it's all about how to deal with emergencies with your pets. Uh, we just finished a pretty big emergency with Bosley.